hey guys how's it going so this movie poster right here as you can see on my screen caught my eyes and i wanted to replicate it so bad and which i did and then i decided to create a tutorial about it so this is the tutorial i'll be showing you step by step processes on how i got the effects how i studied and replicated it so if you're interested in creating movie posters please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell like and share the video with your friends so without further ado let's get creating So guys, here we are. So if you observe the movie poster properly, you will see that it kind of tells the story already. It shows you one person with three different um, parts of his life. One looking very young, the other um, a little bit somewhere in between where he had to make some decisions. Then the other a lot more matured with beards and then the head uh, warmer or head cover. So it tells the story, and if you observe it very well, it can show you. It can show you exactly what the movie is talking about, how the storyline possibly play, plays out. But it also creates a sense of anticipation, meaning it kind of shows you the movie will be interesting. So your goal here is to replicate that. Okay, and we don't have access to some of the pictures that were used to create the movie post. But our goal is to find something close or something that works something that works is actually important the kind of picture you use the kind of pictures you will use are very important okay so here we are so first off you create a photoshop document with dimension 1500 by 2000 pixels and then you import your first image and adjust diagonal to fit the perspective of the original image so the subject has to align with the diagonal look and then i created studs just like the original poster had so I used the circle painted white, created some drop shadows, and then used bevel and emboss tool to create the stored effect. So after that, I turned the image black and white in order to allow the blend modes to pop through. So after turning the image back black and white, I used the pen tool to create the first diagonal dissection on the image. And then painted it color and changed the blend mode to overlay. And then I created depth for the background because I realized that it's just looking too plain and the effects don't really pop. The blend modes don't really pop. So I created a rectangle and then painted it gray and then used the eraser tool to reveal the face. So I also reduced the opacity. After that, I imported the second image and then I reduced the opacity to check where it fits positionally and diagonally um with the first subject so that the first subject doesn't look weird and then the second subject also doesn't look weird so once I'm, i was okay with the positioning i used the eyes basically as a um, guide so once the two eyes aligned at a particular point i did i was okay with that so i adjusted the second image to fit with the first subject so i also had to use the liquify tool to adjust the eyes so that the both subjects will look like one another so i use the push card tool um, in liquify to adjust and um, enlarge the eyes then i also played around with some of the adjustments but if you can see the mouth doesn't really align properly so i had to use the patch tool no the yeah the patch tool to select that part and then move it move it downwards and then use the healing brush tool to heal the part that was revealed i don't know if you can see the part that was revealed so after doing that um i yeah i used the patch tool rather than the healing brush tool so the patch tool works very well so i realized that the person the second subject was positioned very badly so i had to use the neck of the first subject in order to balance it out so I cut out the face of the first object using either the quick selection tool or you can use the lasso lasso tool to select the head. So I ended up erasing the other parts of the first subject and retaining only the neck. So the neck, I needed the part of the neck that didn't have beds, but then obviously the image had beds. So I had to use the um, patch tool again to um remove the areas that had beds so after doing that i also used the um, bone tool to wanted to, i wanted to create shadow 
so i actually burnt that place to create to make it darker but then i discovered that the neck was too long it's obviously not going to work that way so i erased the other part of the neck that i the uh, first subject that i didn't want to use and then adjusted the neck accordingly so i duplicated the first image the first subject and then used the second one as the base of the second subject so after doing that i created a shadow again under the neck using the pawn tool so after that i discovered that um the image where it wasn't balanced so i looked around i selected it again and then decided to make some adjustments to it so make sure the goal here is to have one image looking different from the other so i decided to um, remove the necklace that was on the chest of the first subject so it does not appear on the neck of the second subject so i used the patch tool again to do that so the patch tool is quite effective in um, manipulation so after doing that i looked at the image and then i realized okay it's working it's actually working so the two images are looking like the same person that has matured over the course of some years so after that if you original if you observe the original image or uh, movie poster you discover that there is some story to the image it had the second the middle um the dimension or the dissection had scars so i used the dodge and bond tool on a rasterized um, rectangle to create the highlights so i darkened and i brightened the parts that light fell on top upon after that, I created a sky using the pen tool, changed the color to the color of the skin, used inner shadow, and then bevel and emboss to create the depth for a scar. And then I adjusted the, the shape. I positioned it where naturally a scar will look in a movie poster. <laughs> so after doing that, I changed the blend mode to multiply to make it look realistic. So then I also looked at the face and it was like, yo, this thing is not looking balanced. So after creating the um, second um, dissection, I had to adjust the ears. If you can observe this right now, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't match with the first subject. So after turning to black and white, I had to duplicate the ears and then move it down a little bit. So I used the quick selection tool to select the ears and then move it downwards okay yeah so make sure the cell the layer you're selecting is already converted into a rasterized subject so that the background doesn't remain i don't know if you understand that so but after that as i move the ears down it became a little bit balanced with the first subject so I think after that, that's what works. So make sure what works, you make sure you try and find out what works and what works best for the movie poster. So after that, I created, um, okay, I, I, I edited the second dimension, dissections rather, and then changed the blend mode to overlay. So I created the third um, dissection and then change the color to blue so the major thing here is to observe the original movie poster and try to tell the story the movie poster tells like the way they want it to you can add your own additions and then um, adjustment but then if it works it works so after that i created the rectangle tool around um, a rectangle around the image and use the same a darker color change the blend mode to overlay and then erase the middle to reveal more of the image and blow out or uh, blow out the sides to create that vignette look that cinematic feel so after that a lot of adjustments were done a lot of um, dodge and burning was done on images too reveal parts of the image that need needed lighting and also the darken part of the image so dodge and burn to the dodge the dodge is to brighten the burn is to darken 
do you get but make sure if you're doing it you're sure you're not going to be um going back on it so you can actually create a gray layer and then dodge and burn on that layer after you have overlaid it use the blend mode overlay so that should help you if in case you don't want the dodge and burn anymore you want to adjust it you can easily delete that layer and redo the dodge and burning so after that you look at the two em the movie original movie poster and the one you replicated whether they look alike in any way and you begin to add elements that you think are necessary so i began to add um blue some fade some purple at the bottom part of the movie poster and then at the top i also added um some color so it gives the cinematic feel of a movie poster so after that is done you're basically good to go i don't know if you can replicate this but then it's not it's not it's not it's not hard so you just then do you do some um blending then you do some color grading on the movie poster that can be done in the um, um, camera roll filter layer just open camera roll, camera roll filter and then begin to adjust the colors as you feel as you didn't feel but i'm replicating a design so i wanted to i want to stay i want to stick to the look of the movie poster as possibly or as well as i can so after that is done beautiful create the text the text is kind of glowing so once you write the text you just open the um, the, the layer the layer style the um window layer style window and then you use outer glow and then use change the blend mode to fit and create the glow effect so i hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section um, until next time, keep creating. Peace.